One of the future events that the Father showed me represents for me a Pentecost. Others call it the warning. At the close of Pope John Paul XXIII's convocation of Vatican II, he prayed to the Holy Spirit for a new Pentecost, not for the church, but for the world. Soon, the day that he prayed for will happen. He saw it. Suddenly, the stars, the sun, and the moon will not shine. All will be black. In the heavens, a sign of Jesus will appear and light up the sky and the world. He will be on the cross, not in his suffering, but in his glory. Behind him, in a pale light, will appear the face of the Father, the true God. It will be something, I assure you. From the wounds in Jesus' hands, feet, and side, bright, shining rays of love and mercy will fall onto the entire earth, and everything will stop. If you are in an airplane, it will stop. If you are riding in a car, don't worry, the car will stop. If you ask me, well, how can that be? I will say, God is God. He's the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you think he cannot stop matter? Do you believe that your small plane will outrun him? No. Everything will be fixed in time, and the flame of the Holy Spirit will enlighten every conscience on earth. The rays from Jesus' wounds will pierce every heart like tongues of fire, and we will see ourselves as if in a mirror before us. We will see our souls, how precious they are to the Father, and we will see the evil within ourselves. The illumination will last about 15 minutes, and in this merciful prejudgment, all will see immediately where they would go if they were to die right then, heaven, purgatory, or hell. More than seeing, however, they will feel the pain of their sins, all of them, even the ones they have confessed in the Sacrament of Reconciliation, but the ones they have confessed will be experienced differently. Those who would go to purgatory will see and feel the pains of their sin and purification. They will recognize their faults and know what they must correct within themselves. For those who are very close to Jesus, they will see what they must change in order to live in complete union with him. For the ones who would go to hell, they will burn. Their bodies will not be destroyed, but they will feel exactly what hell is like because they are already there. The only thing missing was the feeling. They will experience the beatings of the devil, and many will not survive because of their great sin, I assure you. But it will be for them a blessing because they will ask for pardon. It will be their salvation. After the illumination of conscience, another unparalleled gift will be granted to humanity. A period of repentance lasting about six and a half weeks when the devil will not have the power to act. This means that everyone will have their complete free will to make a decision for or against the Lord. The devil will not bind a person's will and fight against him or her. The Lord will calm everyone's passions and appease their desires. He will heal everyone from the distortion of their senses so that this Pentecost in it all will feel that their entire bodies are in harmony with him. The first two and a half weeks after the warning in particular will be extremely important because the devil will not return at that time, but people's habits will, and they will then be harder to convert. All who have received the desire for the Lord, the sense that they need his salvation, will be marked on their forehead with a luminous cross, invisible to the human eye, by their guardian angel. God has not given us three ways to travel, only two. 
There is no gray area in between the path of evil and the path of the Lord. Those who will say, I don't know, I cannot make a decision, will not be able to remain indifferent. As God says in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 16, So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. People will have to make a decisive choice, and you will understand why. Because after that, they will be left with the consequences of their decision. The time of mercy will end, and the time of justice will begin. Jesus said this to St. Faustina Kowalska. The Father said to me, renew your consecration to the holy hearts of Jesus and Mary. This is important. You know that you are already blessed because you are being made aware. Why do you think that God has chosen you to be here? Because you have a mission. When you go out, when you return to your home, you will feel something on your shoulder. What is it? The burden of Jesus, which is the mission of the Lord. If he is making you aware now of what will happen, it is because people will come back from their mystical experience of meeting God, searching for help, not knowing what to do. Some will be afraid. Others will be in shock. You have been chosen for this time to help guide these people into the Catholic Church to receive the good news of Jesus. You can be young, old, do not worry if you have problems with your legs, your back. There are plenty of backs in heaven. And the Lord can renew you better than any physician. Some of you will provide brief catechetical instruction for those who know nothing of the essentials of the Catholic faith. First and foremost, people will need to be reconciled to God. So you will bring them to a priest for confession. I assure you, the priests who are not in a state of grace will have a hard time because they will be there in long lines for confession. I saw the lines. They will need protection and help. Please prepare the priests some sandwiches. <laughs> I assure you, if people don't halt the line, we will not be able to go to the bathroom. Remember the cure dars. St. John Vianney, who was in the confessional for 14 hours at times. If people are not baptized, you will bring them for baptismal preparation, which will happen quickly because time will be short. We will baptize en masse as the apostles did by sprinkling water on the crowds and making the pronouncement, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I assure you, I saw this too. When the devil returns after about six and a half weeks, he will disseminate a message to the world through the media, cell phones, TVs, etc. The message is this. A collective illusion happened on this date. Our scientists have analyzed this and found that it occurred at the same time a solar flare from the sun was released into the universe. It was so powerful that it affected the minds of the people on earth, giving everyone a collective illusion. The devil fools us even now through the new priests of the world, television journalists who want you to think what they think, so they present the news that is their opinion. They twist the truth and you are hypnotized, manipulated into believing them. Others have spoken of these times, but I am accountable for sharing only what the Father revealed to me. I will have to answer to God when I die. So I wish to be faithful to him. <laughs> Thank you, Chris.